All right, today we're going to be building a Bitcoin or Litecoin mining rig, depending on which price is highest at this time. And so I got four HD7850 dual fan cards. They're 170 a piece. So this is 340, 680 for all the cards. 680, ASRock Extreme 4, um, 970 has its own board power and reset switch. Pretty much ideal for Bitcoin mining rig, only $100, so we're at $780 at that point. Processor, multi-core, um, pro it's a dual core, Anthon 2, $50. So we're at, which would be um, $830 at that point. This was $100, so we're at $930. This uh, right here will uh, take a 1x uh, PCI slot to 16x, and uh, that's good for, that takes us to PCI Express. And uh, for video playback, it's okay and everything. But for Bitcoin mining, you don't have to worry about all that. You know, you're not hardcore gaming, and you should have no problem out of that. And that's going to give me four slots. Otherwise, there's only three on the motherboard. Only three PCI Express slots. This is about ten bucks. So at this point, right now, uh, you could do a 750 watt. You don't really need a thousand watt one. I thought I needed more, but once I ran the numbers, don't need that much. So yeah. So this whole setup right here, plus RAM, which is about $20, we're talking $950, $950. The rig will make us about $300 a month on Litecoins right now. I'm predicting it'll do 1.3 giga hashes. So uh, let's check it. This case I built out of two old cases. And I basically just took this, this baffled that you uh, screw, we got a the cards into off another case and screw it on top of here. I drilled out all the rivets for the pop for the bottom of the thing and this support was down here. I took it from here and screwed in here and used metal tapping screws. And uh, I added two case fans and I already had one case fan. Next we're going to install the CPU and you lift that lever up and actually right there is a little mark that matches the arrow right there. And so that's how you want to put it in. All right, it's in place, and now we take this lever, and we go like that with it. Now it's locked in place. Now it's time to put the CPU fan on, and right there, that is your thermal paste. It's already installed, and so it's just a lever action here. It's not terribly hard, but uh, if you were into hardcore gaming or you're going to use this process more than just a drone. I'd recommend scraping off this thermal paste and get some like Arctic Silver. It's better. So yeah, don't touch that. I don't need dust on that. You want it to be perfectly clean. So yeah, we'll put that on next. All right, and that basically just clamps down on there. There's a little clamp type thing. The plug plugs into the place that says CPU fan. So next we're going to do the power supply, and so that's going to go over there. So we get the power supply. So the power supply is installed, just has these little wing nuts you tighten on. Um, this is a 24 pin plug, and it has a little jet out that it, if it's just a 20 plug you could do that too, but it clips onto there. And then this is the uh, 8 plug for the GPU, a CPU, that's plugged in. And then it actually comes with a couple of Molexes, and uh, I run the fans off of those. So we're good on that, a lot of extra wires which I'll run to the you know GPUs and stuff power so uh, now I'm just going to uh, put the RAM in I'll put it in the first slot all the way closest to the motherboard hard drive is now installed with its crazy adapter so we're going to put a video card in yeah some weird old adapter and the plug is very cheap uh, some of the pins were bent which I hope that'll be okay I, I haven't bent them and plugged them in properly but anyway next we'll put it a uh, 7850 in dual fan very nice here it is all finished I got this one card on the riser I talked about as you can see it goes through the two cards I got a I think it's a hundred CFM fan pumping air down between these three cards on the motherboard and I got this card spaced out and leaned with spacers that I've made so I got two case fans over there and uh, one big one there, and then one small one there going to the processor. Yeah, 
I like the blue of the power supply. It's pretty cool. I painted this case red. I'll show you how to make a case like this. It's two crappy cases, essentially. Um, let's see, what else? Let's look at the statistics. What am I doing on this thing? I'm doing 333 or 334 kilohashes per card, coming out to 1.3 kilohashes. I'm running each of the 7850s at overclock speeds of, of um, let's see, uh, 1035. 1035. On each card, they're running at about 70, uh, 67 Celsius. I've seen them get as high as 62. So I'm running all four cards. I'm running a, on a Windows 7, simply because I had Windows 7. Now, from what I'm told, you can run eight cards on uh, Linux. Windows only has a, uh, has a limit of uh, four. But anyway, this motherboard could only really handle one more card, and I'd have to use the PCI... Uh, 1x slot like I did for this card. I'm running uh, what they call um, uh, null plugs, VHA plug, VHA, VH, I can't say it right, VGA plugs with diodes in them to simulate a screen so the card is always on so you can mine. Otherwise the card would shut itself off and you would not be able to mine continuously. Yep. I'm running Litecoin mining at this time and I'm running just about three uh, just under three uh, light coins a day, uh, just about ten dollars per day on this rig, minus power, which is a dollar fifty. So I'm running about nine fifty on this rig per day, and I'm running six hundred watts right now. How many amps? Five amps. Yep. So yeah, six hundred watts. I direct wired a plug on a twenty amp breaker. Uh, yeah. So I should have enough. I can expand at least two more machines on this one plug. And then I might want to use this other breaker I have that's empty. Because you don't want to overload a breaker. <laughs> but yeah, you can get by with a 750 watt power supply and save about, I don't know, 40 bucks. So anyway, this is my rig. Making me money. Going to be making another one soon. I will do a video showing you how to make that case with the upper uh, placement for a card. It's really easy. So, uh, hope you guys like this video. Happy Litecoin and Bitcoin mining.